Okay, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Tom Rolando. I am a reseller on eBay. I sell things that I find in thrift stores or other deals. Um, I will probably just sell about anything that I can make some good money on. These are the last few things that I sold, and I'm going to show you the last three things I purchased. Uh, just to give you an update, I think it's more important not what you take off the rack at the thrift stores, but what you leave on the rack because that distinguishes yourself from selling junk and buying stuff that will sell for a profit. First one here is a day clock. This is uh, for dementia and Alzheimer's patients to let them know what day of the, of the week it is. Unfortunately, Alzheimer's is uh, a, a very, very debilitating disease and uh, there's really no end in sight. And as the population of the United States gets older, there's more and more people that succumb to Alzheimer's. So uh, when I saw this, I went ahead and bought it for $2.50. Uh, and I sold it within uh, 12 hours of listing. That's my game plan. Next one is a, a Hilo Hattie Hawaiian shirt. You know, people say don't buy anything that's uh, smaller than a large for men because it's not going to sell. Sometimes, you know, if you're the only small out there, you're going to sell. Plus, it's a pretty cool pattern in a wild color. It's like purple with hibiscus on it. That's that's a really cool one. Next is a uh, a grouping of five Rustler Rockabilly Rockabilly Pearl Snap shirts, um, and I got these at a at a, uh, a thrift store for a uh, I believe seventy five cents each. No, I'm sorry, it was fifty cents each. They're having a sale on fifty cent uh, fifty cent clothing. Um, so you can see that these five shirts. Cost me two dollars and fifty cents, and I sold them for thirty dollars with shipping. Sometimes uh, individual shirts are not going to sell. You have to differentiate your listing from other the, the thousands of that are others that are out there. Maybe some guy likes to wear pearl snap shirts every day of the week. That uh, you know, five days a week. So boom, here he is, here I am. You sell uh, five of these uh, western shirts, uh, pearl snap at a time and somebody somebody buys them you know and you got five shirts in and out the door with less than uh less than 48 hours the same thing with these uh brooks bows i paid two dollars each for these so uh you do the math uh 30 bucks shipped uh with uh 4.99 shipping pay two dollars for them lump them together someone that's interested in buying Dress shirts probably isn't going to just buy just going to buy them because they wear them once a week, maybe two or three times a week. They're going to wear dress shirts. So if you lot things that are similar together, you might have a good chance of standing out rather than the thousands of other listings that are just selling one. And here's one that was a kind of a bust for me. I, I really like this uh, this coffee grinder. It's a uh, vintage wearing uh, adjustable uh, coffee grinder. And this is a dog. I just held it way too long, so I just lowered the price, uh, and I sold it within 48 hours. Um, probably not going to make more than three or four dollars. Better than uh, that. W with that three or four dollars, I'm talking about packaging material, printer costs, everything. So I'm not losing money. I'm just not making much money. It's easier for me just to go ahead and ship it out. Uh, you know, make four or five dollars. Sometimes you only make four or five dollars. Okay, the net, the second part of this video, I want to talk to you about making the right decisions when you're at the sourcing opportunities. Um, for me, it's more of what I leave on the rack than what I take off the rack. Here is a prime example. Uh, if I saw this Larry Fitzgerald's Cardinals Reebok jersey on the rack and it wasn't uh, it wasn't a dollar ninety nine. I probably would have left it there because there's so many out there. But I did some listing, I did some uh, research on the comps, and they were selling for like thirty, thirty-five dollars. So if I can buy one for a dollar ninety-nine, you know that's a no-brainer. But I'm not buying these jerseys if they're five or six dollars because you just can't make enough um, to make some money. But Larry Fitzgerald uh, is uh, one of my favorite players that's on the Cardinals. I'm not a Cardinals fan. Um, I just think Larry Fitzgerald is a stand-up guy. Uh, I like the way he plays, and I like the way he carries himself outside the game. Here's a Rain Spooner, Beach Boys, uh, Hawaiian shirt, four ninety-nine. 
and um, most of the other Hawaiian shirts at this location where I picked this up were six or seven, even eight ninety nine. Um, so someone obviously didn't know how to price this because out of all the Hawaiian shirts that I looked at today, this one it was the most expensive one to buy off of eBay. Forty nine dollars is the lowest price uh, of the solds. Uh, there's a couple out there. Uh, one's at 35, drastically under underpriced. I'll let someone go ahead and bid thir uh, take it for 35 dollars, and then mine's the next one that pops up. But this is a uh, a high quality Hawaiian shirt. Rain Spooner is in Hawaii. Um, it's a very good upper end brand, kind of like a Tory Richard or uh, some other uh, Hawaiian made Hawaiian shirts. And the last thing that I found was um, this uh, this cool Michelob on draft. This is a bar light, and it's got uh, all the lights. And you can see I, I darkened out the picture. And these are what comes out as um, the light. So this was like, you know, a man cave find. And I bought it for $6.99. And um, I have it listed at $45 plus shipping and i charge actual shipping i i weighed uh this item with the packaging and i know that i am not going to uh, be losing money because i weighed it and put i bumped it up to the next whole pound so i know that uh with my ebay discount i am not going to lose money shipping and that's what happens normally to new sellers they lose money on the shipping and when they lose the money on the shipping uh, because they didn't know how to source right and they their margins are too low. They end up losing money. But anyway Two things I Want you to walk away with from the video one is Be careful what you thrift you have to make sure you leave things on The rack rather than picking them up because that's the way you can avoid death piles and the second thing that you should take away from the video if you're a new seller is to try to differentiate differentiate your listings from the thousands that are out there now. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you.